depending where you live, in the, the mid-Atlantic area, for instance, no, Virginia, North Carolina, Maryland beaches, Delaware, we typically deal with regular jellyfish. These are the kind of jellyfish that look like little half moon things with little tentacles dripping down the bottom. And what happens is the tentacles will rub against the person. And so then you've got to do something about this. So we've come out of the water, you've told people, I've been stung by a jellyfish. Now the goal is to stop the stinging because the stinging is still going on even after you've left the water. The tentacles will attach themselves to your skin and these little cysts called nematocytes are shooting venom into your body. So you gotta get them off. First thing you wanna do is take seawater, not regular water, not water out of a bottle, but seawater and rinse this off. And then you get a towelette to cover the site that's been stung. Take the vinegar and pour it on there for about 30 seconds or so. Give it a chance to soak in. After that's happened, you take this off, rinse with sea water again, and then you want to remove these tentacles because they're still there. So what you do then is take something, some people have said take a razor, a shaving cream and a razor, or a credit card, or something straight edged. And so I'm going to use the back end of my saline drops. And you're going to just very gently but firmly scrape in a way. <laughs> You don't want to touch what you're scraping because if you touch, you'll get stung as well, potentially. So you scrape and get rid of it. And then again, soak in vinegar for about 30 minutes or so. You want to watch for any local reactions, swelling, redness. There'll be pain involved. The stinging does cause pain. That's normal. But what we're looking for is swelling or pain that's going above the area of the sting. So if the upper arm, there's tingling in the fingers, that means you need to be seen right away. Otherwise, uh, the next thing we do is care of the stings. Now that you got redness and swelling, what do we do? Uh, some people have said using a lidocaine containing substance, like you know, used for uh, sunburns, chordate or cortisporin, some sort of hydrocortisone steroid cream is very good. Some people use calamine lotion. I've seen some reports of people talking using Benadryl cream. I advise do not use Benadryl cream because there's a risk of developing an allergy to Benadryl but you can use an oral antihistamine, Claritin, Benadryl, Zyrtec, whatever you happen to have. If it's for allergies, it'll help deal with this. And that's the, the quick on what to do with jellyfish things.